Hello, beautiful Scorpio, and welcome to the Hill Tiller Tarot. My name is Angel. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel where we learn, grow, and expand together, working to raise the collective conscious one unique soul at a time. This channel is dedicated to spiritual enlightenment, self-actualization, and aligning to meaning and purpose in life. So if that is something that you are interested in, you are in the perfect place at the perfect time for the perfect reason. This is your soul coaching session to look at how you're ending out 2022 and moving into the energy of 2023. I am a spiritual life and self-actualization coach. And this particular spread looks at 15 areas of your personal manifestation. So we're going to be taking a look at how you're ending 2022 and what you can look forward to in 2023 for the beautiful soul sign of Scorpio. I do set the intention that this reading may resonate with you wherever you may find Scorpio placements in your chart. If you do not know your chart and your chart placements, you can get a free copy of your birth chart over at my website. The information for that is listed in the description box below and for a limited time. If you subscribe and become a part of the Soul Joiner family. You can also receive a free astrology report as well. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell. I would love to have you as a part of the Soul Joiner family. Thank you so much to all of my current subscribers. I am truly honored and I am truly grateful as we work to grow this channel. Make sure you give me feedback on what it is that you like, what it is that you would like to see, and just be mindful that this channel is all about aligning to true meaning and purpose in life and really becoming a fully self-actualized human soul. So let's tap in our energies together. Make sure you visit my website at thehealthealertarot.com if you haven't already gotten a copy of your free astrology report just for becoming a part of the Soul Joiner family. All right, beautiful soul. We're going to put an oracle message to see what your generalized overall energy is. And then we'll pull your cards. So we're going to tune in and tap on our energies together. I want you to take a deep breath in and hold for however long it feels comfortable for you. Release that breath and with releasing that breath, I want you to release any expectations that you have for this reading. Release any tension that you have built up anywhere in your body. Continue to breathe in and out as we tune in and tap on together. And I want you to bring to your mind's eye what it is that you came to this reading for more clarity, more insight, and more understanding about. But I also want you to be open to whatever messages come through as they are for your highest good and your great dissemination for the beautiful soul sign of Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know for their highest vibrational good? And so it is. Thank you, Spirit. I am so grateful. I trust that this message finds you in sound mind, body, and spirit. Your oracle message, Scorpio. Challenge your perception. This is an energy of five. It talks about your beliefs. Okay. Challenge your perception of the world. This is also an energy that talks about evaluating your finances. That five energy talks about your personal power and your ability to change any and all aspects of your life that you don't find pleasing. It's based on your beliefs. You see, she has that sword of discernment. That sword of knowledge, of truth, of victory, of success is also a sword of integrity. So there's something here about you standing on your beliefs, standing on your integrity, but needing to challenge the way in which you see yourself or others around you or potentially a combination of both. I'm seeing someone here who has a lot of power, especially a lot of power of manifestation and creation and getting things done. But there's something here about you needing to challenge your perception. And I'm thinking it has to do with your perception of your ability to co-create with spirit and to actually manifest your dreams. So let's take a look and see how is this energy coming through for Scorpio spirit. What does Scorpio need to know? For their highest vibrational good. For the beautiful collective soul sign of Scorpio. 
What does Scorpio need to know for their highest vibrational good? And so it is. Thank you, Spirit. I am so grateful. Alright, your why and your focus and intention. Six of Pentacles. You want things in your life to be balanced and fair. But this is just also talking about you want a, a life that's easy, that's full of flow. You want things to be things to transition well. You want things to flow easily. You don't want to have to deal with obstacles or hurdles or difficulties. You want things to just go with ease and grace. This is also an energy that talks about you wanting to be fulfilled financially. You wanting to have enough finances to support yourself, but also to give to others, to help to support your children, to help to support your family, your community. This is an energy that talks about you being very charitable and very giving in your expression and in your ways. And this is what you're focused on moving into 2023. Let's look and see what's going on in your connections and relationships page of wands this is like you taking your relationship to the next level this is having fun doing things that you both enjoy spending time together exploring each other exploring life together this is really beautiful energy even if you're not partnered this is you exploring life with your friends you exploring life with your family you traveling and trying new things and just living your life to the fullest here. And this is the energy vibration that you want to exude as you move into 2023. Let's look and see what your energy vibration is currently. You're being very inquisitive. You're learning new things. You're learning yourself. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit said, no, they're just learning themselves. They're learning. You're learning what you love. You're learning what you want. You're learning what inspires you. You're learning what makes you happy. You're learning that there are things in life that you want to accomplish that you have yet to do. You're learning that you have passions and desires for things that you may not have re previously realized that you enjoy. This is you also putting yourself out there more, communicating more, talking more, networking more, really working more with others. You have brand new beginnings in your life that are taking you to the next level. There's this elevation here. Things are elevating. This is an energy of a glow up or you're ascending in some way, shape or form because you're coming wiser. But you're also doing it with a very free, fun, loving and a very exciting energy. You're going with the flow of life. You're not resisting. And that takes us back to this energy here, of the Six of Pentacles. You're not resisting. You're just going with it and you're learning through the process. So let's look and see what's going on in your environment and in your body. You can't make it up. There's loving relationships around you, supportive relationships around you. You're very comforted in your environment. Your home is very balanced. This is you being in a very balanced relationship, a very balanced home. Things are very reciprocated. You guys complement each other well with the fire and air energy and you help to support each other. You help each other to grow. You inspire each other. Not only do you inspire each other, you challenge each other intellectually as well. So this is a really beautiful energy. If you're not in a current relationship, you're drawing in somebody that's going to be your equal match. They could be a fire sign or an air sign, but they're going to help you. To be more inspirational, to be more adventurous, they're going to help you to grow in some levels in your life that are going to bring you lots of accomplishment. You could also be working together in a business adventure or starting business together or creating things together. But this is going to be a very equally yoked and a very complimentary energy, very complimentary relationship. And it doesn't necessarily have to be um Intimate, it could just be a platonic relationship as well, but it's someone that's coming in as a soulmate that is helping you to grow and helping you to advance on your journey. So let's take a look and see what's going on in your finances and what's changing in your life. Look at this, Herman Energy. This is you coming into awareness of yourself. This is you going within, doing the deep soul searching, but what it is that you're finding is you're finding your passion. You're finding your drive. You're finding what life means for you. You're allowing that inner light to guide you. You're exploring new things, learning new things, opening yourself up, meeting new people. You're not in this isolated hermit energy anymore. 
This is Virgo energy that's coming through, but you're in this energy of putting yourself out there, networking, meeting new people, moving outside of your comfort zone in order to help yourself to expand because you want life to flow easily, because you want things to come and to flow and to just be able to move through life and have all of these experiences and blessings and happiness and joy come in. But it's all about you really just being truly authentic to yourself and coming into a fulfillment of yourself with that Herman energy. This is you existing in purpose. It's an energy of personal integrity. You have gained wisdom through your experience, but this is you being of service and whatever it is that you do for career work as well. This is you soul searching, but really truly finding true meaning and purpose in life. This is beautiful. I love it. 2023 is the year of you finding true meaning and purpose in your life. So let's see what's going on in your connections and your energy exchange. Seven of Pentacles. Things are changing when it comes to your social groups or connections. You're evaluating the connections that you've had in the past. Were they reciprocated and fair? Were you getting back out of the relationships what you were putting in? Did you always feel as if though you were the one that was overextending and never getting filled back up? Those are the things that you're processing and thinking about and trying to figure out. And you're really thinking about who you're actually going to put your time, energy, and attention into going into 2023. You're making significant changes because now that you know better, you do better. So you're reevaluating your relationships and how relationships show up in your life and how you allow relationships to show up in your life. And I'm thinking this has to do with this challenging your perception. You can look at the glass as half full or you can look at the glass as half empty. And it's like you're choosing to look at the glass for what it is in making the necessary preparations, changes, and plans in order to get it where you want it to be. So let's take a look and see what's going on in your path. King of Pentacles, this is an energy of you coming into financial stability and abundance, coming into a self-sovereign energy, coming into an energy of stability. This is an energy of financial success and rewards. This could be a business endeavor or, a, or a, whatever something that you're doing that is a part of your destiny is going to bring you into the energy of security for your future, for your family. Very wise energy, very accomplished energy. This is an energy of you learning about yourself. This is an energy of self-mastery here. Having the knowledge, the wisdom, the tools gone through the life experiences in order to know exactly what it is that you want, but also being able to accomplish what it is that you desire. So this is beautiful energy. Let's see what your daily spiritual practice is. Eight of Swords, you're going to have to stay out of your head. You may want to implement a daily spiritual practice of meditation, a daily spiritual practice of journaling, so that you can get out the thoughts and the things that you have in your head, so you can get things organized in order, so you can have structure, so that you're not sitting here thinking about all of these different things. You may have wonderful, brilliant ideas that come in, but in order for you to execute those ideas, you're going to have to write them down, list them. You're going to have to work on one specific thing at a time. So that way you're not always constantly stuck in your head, that you're actually making plans, moving forward, doing things that is bringing reward, right? So that you don't have this energy of feeling stuck. So meditation is going to be key. And also journaling, I think, is going to be very significant for you as a part of your daily spiritual practice. You definitely will always want to pray. You know, that's a given. Pray and stay connected with your higher self. Pray and stay connected to source energy. Always allow that divine energy. And look at that. The sacral energy just burned out. You want to always let that divine energy come through you, right? Through your spirit, through your emotions, through your soul. And that will keep you from being in this energy of insecurity or uncertainty or not knowing which direction to move. Because you're being guided, right? As long as you continue to follow that inner muse. So let's look and see what your personal and professional development is. Personal and professional development is all about you mastering your intuition. These are two tools here. This could definitely be an energy that talks about you trusting and loving and nurturing yourself, becoming whole and balanced within yourself, integrating your masculine and your feminine energy. This is an energy of energy integration here so that you can come become in tune with your highest and greatest version. You could be creating a spiritual practice or endeavor 
a spiritual business or a creative business or something that you're doing to help with spiritual enlightenment or or it could even be tarot card reading or energy healing or something like that that you're doing definitely to help ease people's tension to help ease people's worries to help people to grow and develop within themselves this could definitely be also distance reiki or something along those lines but this is definitely energy healing energy that's coming through so either you're an energy healer or you're drawing in an energy healer, but your personal professional development has to do with some type of intuitive, spiritual, soul searching, energy healing work that you do to help people to become balanced and whole. So let's look and see what's going on in your life cycles and what it is that you're learning on this journey. You're learning how to balance. I love this card. And I love the fact that it came in this space and place, because to me, this is integrating of your material and your spiritual realm integrating your material and your spiritual body you integrating in the physical world in connection with who you are in the 5d and the spirit realm you connecting integrating that energy of your masculine and your feminine you integrating who you are as a divine spiritual being right here in this physical earthly plane and showing up in that fullness you have two twos here which talks about you coming together Balancing out, starting new things, learning yourself, becoming your own, becoming very sovereign and independent, and working through any of this energy of challenging your perception. You're working on that perception because you need to trust your intuition is what the divine just said. You wouldn't be challenging your perception if you trust your intuition and you allow your intuition to guide your next moves. This is one step at a time, one move at a time, one, one minute at a time. Not too far ahead. This is telling you to stay present in the moment and do things moment by moment by moment. And if you need to pivot and adjust and make an adjustment or a change, then do so. But be guided by it intuitively and stay focused on that inspiration, that inner light that's guiding you. And you're going to get those messages on how to move and what decisions to make based on what you're intuitively feeling to do in the moment. So let's look and see how you're going to be spending your time and attention. You're going to be making big moves. You're going to be doing things in the um, 2023 this could be an energy of networking, communicating. This could also be an energy of travel. You may be doing, spending a lot of time traveling. You could be spending a lot of time on social media. You could be spending a lot of time, you know, creating a social media presence, building up a, a social media following. There's something here about you putting in a lot of work. So you're definitely going to be working a lot in 2023. And that's what you're going to be spending your time doing. But it's all about you growing, right? With that page of swords energy, you're going through the experiences and gaining the knowledge that you need to become this sovereign being that you are that is your path to become in this energy of stability and to create the long-term generational wealth and abundance and prosperity that you desire that security for yourself and your family and it's going to require you to put in the work but as long as you put the work in now you can enjoy the fruits of your labor later so 2023 is going to be the time for you to really put in the work and the effort to build the security that you desire for your long term so let's take a look at the energy of what you're grateful for you're grateful for the experiences that have made you wiser in your life you're grateful for the heartbreaks the losses the deceptions whatever you've gone through that you're in your life that has made you this king of pentacles very grounded very secure very stable very autonomous and independent and sovereign being you are very grateful for every experience that life has given you to teach you the lessons that you needed to learn in order to gain your sovereignty, to gain your freedom, and also in order to trust yourself, to challenge your perception, to truly trust your intuition, and to be guided and to trust that you are a spiritual guide or a leader, that you are a, a spiritual um 
healer, whatever it is that you're doing to help bridge the gap between the spirit world and the physical world for yourself and for others is bringing in this energy of stability. This is soul energy. This is the material world. So they're bringing in and bridging that connection of all things into solid form, into material form, into the material world. So this is you just being grateful for everything that you've gone through because it has truly made you wiser. You have truly gotten lots of wisdom through your energy of experience and it's made you completely stronger so let's look and see what is your highest and greatest version look at that you cannot make it up king of swords energy this is the energy of knowledge of self this is the energy of discernment this is the energy of wisdom of accomplishment of victory and success you know who you are right and that's that challenging your perception you know who you are you're no longer confused about who you are, how you're moving in your life. This is the energy of you coming into your highest and fullest and best self, coming into the trueness and the wholeness of who you truly are. The very powerful, very enlightened, very spiritual being that you are. You're a spiritual messenger. You see all of these. You may very, 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 you could be a medium. You could definitely speak to the other side. You have spirit guides and angels and people that help to guide you with your intuitive knowing. But you're also very wise. That makes you show up as a teacher as well as a leader. All three of these cards talk about your connection to the spirit realm. So you could definitely be channeling spiritual messages in some way, shape or form. And it could be related to your growth or, or your uh, work and career, but it could just be related to your family lineage. Maybe you come from a long line of spiritual advisors and leaders and, and healers as well. So let's take a look and see what's going on in your money mindset, Scorpio. Three of Pentacles, your focus on building this career, your focus on building out the spiritual practice or whatever it is that you're building. This is also an energy that talks about you being focused on family because you want to bring the stability for your family for the long term. You want to be in this energy of ease and grace and having more than enough. As much as given, as much as received, as much as received, as much as given. You want to stay in the energy of being balanced. You have all of this balanced vibrational energy around you and you're very thankful for the experiences that have made you wiser. And now that you know better, you can do better. So now you're building and creating something brand new. But this is definitely an energy that talks about man, woman and child or just you and your family building and growing. You could be creating a family business as well. But whatever it is that you're doing, it's going to bring in a lot of stability for you and your family. This is also the energy of the initiate because you have these two page energies here, which lets me know that these new things that you're going to be starting out in 2023 is going to bring you into the King of Pentacles, the King of Swords energy, and it's going to bring you into the stability within your family, within your home, as well as within your long term investment. So I'm really getting a lot of generational wealth or the potential and opportunity for generational wealth. 2023 may be the year that you start putting together that portfolio or building, you know, you could be building up to three income streams here, one, two, three, however that shows up for you. It could be something that you do with work and career. It could be something that you do on social media or online. It could be something that you do in person. It's definitely aligned with your spiritual path and is a part of your spiritual calling. So just know that. Let's look and see how you're expanding with the bigger picture is. Yeah, it's all about maintaining your courage. It's all about maintaining your high vibration of self-worth and knowing your value and you really being confident in who you are and showing up in your greatest version. This is Leo energy, but it's just you being very open, very compassionate, very balanced, very loving, very self-assured. This is you being very charismatic very confident. There's lots of confidence exuding with this energy. So this is an energy of you expanding in the year of 2023. And at the bottom of the deck, you've got that hair of fun energy. It came up twice. It's asking you to challenge the perception of your beliefs. Definitely your beliefs are being challenged. You may be seeing your spiritual practice or you may be looking at your spirituality differently. You may be coming to a higher level of awareness of your spirituality. You may be, be becoming more in tune with your spirit guides and with your ancestors and the angels and allowing them to guide you. 
You cannot challenge an outdated perception or one born from a lack of understanding if you are unwilling to put aside your feelings and beliefs and embrace another's point of view. To do so makes you aware of the whole and stands you up on a high where you can see that both parties involved in a dispute can act against an injustice. Both can be right. Both can be wrong, and what one may perceive to be harmful may be seen as both healing and beneficial by the other. Let's go ahead and look and see what your chakra message is. Chakra message for the beautiful soul sign of Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? Spirit for their highest vibrational good. Chakra message for Scorpio. Chakra messages for Scorpio. Ooh, that's too many. Chakra messages for Scorpio. Okay, Miracles wanted to stay. And I was going to say, can we get two more? <laughs> so we have Miracles. This is you tapping into that inner muse. This is you tapping into your confidence and your ability to show up and create, right? This is energy of allowing the miracles to come in with that six of pentacles energy. You're allowing your blessings to unfold within you. You also have the energy of growth. Things are growing and expanding for you, beautiful Scorpio. This is an energy of the seeds that you have planted. Things are growing and expanding in 2023. And it's because you put a lot of heart and a lot of passion, and a lot of compassion in what it is that you do. It's not just focused on yourself, but you're focused on your family. You're focused on your community. You're focused on other people around you. It's not just about yourself. You help to uplift and build others. And then there's the energy of creation, right? This is the energy of you, right? That's that empress energy it's also the energy of the high priestess energy you are a energy of a healer someone that helps to heal others you speak and communicate with spirit and you help to translate those messages this is you being by being guided by your angels and your spirit guides but you're also a spiritual leader and healer as well so thank you so much for allowing me to read for you, Scorpio. I am honored and I am truly grateful. If you haven't already done so, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that like button. Share this video with those that you believe could benefit from the messages and subscribe. Become a part of the Soul Joiner family where we learn, grow, and expand together. Working to raise the collective conscious one unique soul at a time. And that unique soul is you. Until our soul paths cross again, soul joiners, I am wishing you love, peace, blessings, happiness, and abundance be on to you. Have a blessed and abundant new year. Namaste.